All right, guys. Um, this part of the series uh, will be focusing on the co ability Dragon Haste. Um, the one thing I will say about Dragon Haste is that it is not mandatory. You are able to live without Dragon Haste because of the um, free to play uh, uh, Wimprint. Um, it's that um, like bottle vase uh, looking thing. You can use three of those in place of Dragon Haste. However, just if you have three of those and Dragon Haste, you are guaranteed to get off three Dragon Transformations within the one minute. As long as, as long as your other three can remain alive as your DPS does uh, other damage. Um, as of for Dragon Haste users, um, for the fire attribute, there are only two. One of them being the main character, which is uh, free to play. Um, he does 5 to 11 percent, so most people have it around the 5 percent mark. Um, another reason why you would want to use him is because of his second, uh, second, second skill being the defense reduction one, which I talked about in part two, so be sure to check that out, of, of, where, of where I talk a little more about him. But, very quick or overview of him in case if, I, in case if I, you didn't see that video. Uh, 415 HP, pretty good. 278 attack, that's still pretty good. Um, first ability increases strength after every shapeshift, so he could be alright for DPS. And, and well, just if you stick to that, um, uh, three, three bottle wind prints and dragon haste, uh, you will be able to get off all three shapeshifts in order for him to reach maximum attack power. Um, reduces the chance of stun by up to 100%. Um, I've said this in every video because it seems to be either stun, curse, or sleep with these units. Not good for this raid, but could be good for a future one. And increases a, a player XP intake by 10 to 15 percent. It's nice because because you can rank up quicker and therefore use uh, less gathering storing items, use less stamina storing items. So he's kind of a good all-in-one type of unit. He just does everything. A little bit above averagely, um, but damage-wise, it's really his second skill that that will be doing the damage. The first skill is okay. It's eh, it's not four hundred, so it's only all right. Out of like a six thirty, almost six forty uh, percent, uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, because of his uh, attack stat, um, I would have preferred the attack stat a little bit higher, but then he could have been a uh, pretty good. But, eh, sword wielders, they're nice. Sword wielders are still a very nice option. And, um, that's enough about him. So let's move on to the second Dragon Haste unit, being Carl, Hero of Justice. He's got more HP and just as much attack. So, so already he's taken more hits. Uh, the first skill is pretty much exactly uh, the same. And the second skill, instead of it being a defense reduction, it's a strength buff for your entire team. So that part's not bad at all. Uh, for raids, uh, this first ability right here increases strength by 4-5% to every, for every 5 enemies defeated. It's not good for raids because, uh, because you're only facing uh, the boss. However, though, when it comes to the um, to the Halloween event uh, type of raids, uh, the one that gave the uh, facility, those will be a lot better because that one is a two minute requirement, and you're facing four waves before the last wave, so you're bound to defeat uh, like fifteen enemies in theory uh, before uh, before you reach uh, that final boss, and 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 by then you should be able to get that attack buff under you, so you'll definitely be getting off more damage. Just if, just if there is a, like, wind-type raid that's similar to the Halloween one. Um, second ability, reduces the chance of sleep by up to 100%. That is good for this raid, just in case if uh, you can't exactly dodge attacks very well. And increases strength by 8% when, when HP is 70% or above. 
you just need a plan right, and and that HP requirement will not be an issue for you. But 8%, but then up to like 25%. That's that's pretty nice. So he can begin the, to uh, to get off uh, damage, but let's end he can increase his damage by, by a second skill. And once again, dragon haze by five to eleven percent. So, so he's a pretty good unit, but me personally, just if I had a choice between Carl or a Yudin, I would pick a Yudin ten times out of ten. That defense, that defense reduction is honestly way too good to pass up. Um, I'm also a fan of the player XP because because I get to preserve my items a little bit more, and and they have the same dragon haste ability. That and Ayudin's free to play, and I need an excuse to work up free to play units a little bit more. <laughs> so that's about it for uh, the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe for the last part coming uh, tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, when I upload this part, it's Halloween, so happy Halloween. I can't believe I forgot about that. God damn it. So so happy Halloween. Uh, be sure to subscribe for that last part, and probably by now, hopefully, um, there should be uh, the Baron units have been leaked. I will do a video on that the day after I uploaded the last part of this, so I will be late when it comes to uh, the units, but don't worry about it, don't worry, I will cover it. And, uh, and I'll also be sure to, to cover uh, the raid, um, I also have some fun plans uh, for some videos, so be sure to uh, subscribe in order to keep up to date with those. Um, I also posted the videos in the Discord server down below uh, whenever I upload them, so be sure to join that up, and... And be sure to drop a like just if uh, this helped you. And, and until tomorrow, peace.